you know what? This was a really weird example, this show, because it was, this was sort of ultimate pandemic, to be honest. We was about to start filming, I think it was like, I want to say it was like the 10th of March, 2020. So it was one of those shows that just we stopped filming before we even started, day before, because the pandemic had happened. And so it actually got commissioned a second series straight away, just so during all that time where we weren't filming, Rose and Alice Nevin, who also write it, that they could write it. So it was a weird one where before we had even filmed it, it had a second series. And I think that was quite nerve wracking because it was like, okay, well, hopefully we'll do a good job or hopefully this will be something that people respond to. Um, And luckily enough, you know, it, it really was. And I feel like now is a really exciting time for a second series to come out. Yeah, I guess quite exciting in a way as well, because you know that you're going to be able to delve into the character again yeah. and explore more things and explore more storylines. What I find so interesting, I don't know if this is still the case, but you and Rose are housemates in the show, but and also in real life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we're not quite anymore. As of the last like fortnight, we've moved out and it's been a heartbreaking experience, but it's also you know, surely it's good for us. We've got to do it at some point. But yeah, we've actually been, we're flatmates for four years. Um, and, you know, one or I guess two of the years of which we're actually filming this show as well. So it's it's maybe like two on the nose of life imitating art, art imitating life. There's maybe, you know, you're not quite sure where that line is. But I, you know, I've got to say it just, um, it makes the experience like even better, to be honest. Just you know, when you wake up in the morning at 5am to go to set and you share the taxi together as housemates and then you're just playing housemates, you know, it, it shouldn't be allowed. It's so much fun. It sounds like a dream. What are some of the things that we see in the show that definitely happen at home? The thing that I really like about our female friendship, both in real life and on the show, is that it's quite harsh. So Kate will really share with Jessie home truths of like, right, you can't wear that. You're going to ruin your life. If you do that, you know, you've you've messed everything up. And there's there's something in that that I think is very true to a lot of female friendships that actually our best female friends are the people who can really tell us um tell us the truth yeah being able to kind of share those home truths if you can't do it with your best friend especially if you're living together then who can you do it with so it sounds like a again a very realistic um example of what it's like sharing a a flat and and living in in central london um so now you're going your separate ways um but does that mean there's exciting things on the horizon for you what does the rest of 2022 bring for you Yeah, well, I've moved in properly with my boyfriend. So, you know, I think that's, yeah, that's one of those things that is very exciting. Um, My boyfriend also is my boyfriend in the show as well. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've really taken the mick with this. It's... uh, (laughs) It's outrageous. Um, And he's played my boyfriend in other things before as well. It just like we're in King Gary and BBC One where we're boyfriend and girlfriend. And yeah, we're we're starting to. um, Yeah, we we need to. (laughs) We need to stop doing that. Do you come as a package now when casting directors come to you? You're like, (laughs) only if you can play my boyfriend. (laughs) Exactly. I'll only do it if he's doing it because he's the love of my life. Um, but yeah, so, so we've moved in together. So, so that's great. And then, um, there's a sketch project that I've worked on recently with Rose. That's a pilot that, you know, is kind of very under wraps at the moment, but that's exciting. Um, and yeah, just kind of, I, I, to be honest, we were in complete lockdown when the first series of Starstruck came out. Um, I think we, I mean, there was no rap party. There was no screening, Uh, There wasn't even a secret illegal party. There was nothing, like, you know, unlike some people. So it was literally a cocktail in our flat, kind of whatever. So with this second series coming out, it feels genuinely exciting to be out in the world and get to see people, get to see how people react to it and not just via Twitter. Um, So that that feels like a, a really exciting thing coming up. 